Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Mini Countryman. Then I'll take you for riding it, but first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a Countryman 1.6 Cooper D All 4. 2014 on a 64 plate. Has done 71,989 miles at the moment, but uh, I'm out for this drive in it, so it will have done more. MOT till the 13th of the 9th, 2023. Last service on the 14th of the 9th, 2022. Fuel economy. Urban, 54.3 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 64.2 miles per gallon. And combined is 60.1 miles per gallon. Has a top speed of 112 miles per hour. As for a four cylinder, 110 brake horsepower, 16 valve engine. Road tax for this vehicle, six months, 71 pounds 50, and 12 months is 130 pounds. So it's a, a really nice sporty car. On the way up here, it's uh, 30 miles from our garage to, to this lovely little car park where I, where I come to, to video the, the vehicles. Uh, it has been raining pretty hard outside, so I've, I've not been able to do a walk round. And then when it uh, cleared up a little bit, this chap, even though it's a big double car park, this chap next, just parked right next to me. So it's got my, uh, got my video in up a little bit, but it's, it's no problem. I'm going to cut some photos, uh, sorry, some video of the outside in as, as we're going. Perhaps I'm just trying to remember what it's got um, with it being the four wheel drive. It has the, the kind of black pack too. It's got a black grill, black headlamp surrounds. We have a little sill extension on the side here, multi-spoke piano black uh, alloy wheels. We've got the integrated uh, roof spoiler, tailgate spoiler, rear wash wipe, rear privacy glass, back seats fold down and split independently of each other. Uh, good spec, these half leather seats, nice and comfortable, they, they feel well padded. Um, it, it, they do drive well, they, they, they're a fun car to drive. That's the key. That slots into a little recess on, on the dash there, foot on the clutch, and then there's a start button just next to it. Let's just see, it's just kind of out of the way. And it's also behind the indicator there, but nice, nice setup. Multifunction steering wheel. Um, manual gearbox. Let's get going. I've put two cameras. I've got a, an excess of cameras with these new GoPros 11, GoPro 11s. So I've uh, put a couple outside today for an extra view and just as I put them out, it abs the heavens open and it lashed down. So uh, we'll, see, we'll see how that goes. Nice gearbox and I need to get comfy. I moved the seats when I was up here and I'm not just quite there. Sun's in my eyes as well. That's better. Ray-Bans to the rescue. <laughs> Somebody left a comment on my, one of my videos the other day. <laughs> Who wears sunglasses when it's raining? My other pair of sunglasses have, a, have cameras in and uh, when I'm obviously when I'm trying to video if there's something important that's happening on the dash I, I try and use my uh, cameras because obviously you can't be holding a phone these days or, or any days if you're sensible but uh, nice car it's got height adjustable now is it height and reach adjustable there's nobody behind me, nobody in front. Let's just check this. There's the thing. Oh, it's height and reach adjustable. And quite a good design with minis is your uh, instrument cluster there moves with the steering wheel. I've noticed on, on a couple of cars, especially um, if you're uh, a, a a bit shorter when you lift the steering wheel up it, it covers the bottom of the instrument panel or, or some of the clocks really 
and the display at the bottom. So that's that's a good design. That moves with the. Check my GoPros are still on. That moves with the steering wheel. Nice clear display and harks back to the old minis. And this, again, the weather forecast was uh, for sunny today, but it's got its kind of own eco climate up here. They're very cold, very windy, and mostly rain. So one of the brochures refers to the Mini as having a go-kart-like drive. And it, it has. It is, a, it is a, a fun car. This engine, very economical, very powerful, very torquey for the size of the car. And of course, Minis aren't like they used to be. They're, if you see a Mini next to an old Mini next to one of these, you'd think this was a limo. But there's enough space in. There's enough space in the boots, not massive. But having said that, I've, I've got um, my big camera case in there. So, uh, and there's still room for other stuff. Just here at Certain Death Corner. the Mini's horn. Of course, if there's a sheep or a, a cow just around the corner, it's, it ain't going to be tooting back, is it? Now, th this is the, the kind of road that I like the Mini on. Great gear change change his direction like I don't know what economical practical what more could you want nice light clutch I think you've got to work a bit harder with the gears with this engine, but if you're buying a manual box, that's that's what you want. No point in having a manual and having it stuck in sixth or fifth. You want to be having fun. Electric window switches here, electric door mirrors. We've got this kind of pilot's <laughs> throttle control handbrake, which I quite like. Um, I, I don't know why, but I find it easier to pull that than a, than a, a handbrake. Excellent. When you want to get it off, you can't pull them off. But it drops off if you look at it. An awkward place to park there. It's on the brow of a hill and you can't see what's coming over the other way. And you're going to be on the wrong side of the road. <coughs> Car's also got the wheel arch protectors, the, the, the black plastic wheel arch protectors, the mouldings. Looks very four wheel drivey. I always drive these cars too fast. They, they, 
they bring out the worst in me. You just feel like going everywhere at full blast. They just they just make you want to drive into corners. The other thing is that the Honda that was parked in the middle of the road back there is now behind me. Oh, it's turned off. Must be visiting the farms, I think. Car's got Bluetooth hands-free. doesn't have Bluetooth audio streaming but I have this little link flow lead which plugs into the USB and the auxiliary next to it that turns it into uh, you know you, you can use your phone you can you can stream music through the system it's about 15 quid so that that is that is really annoying Pull over. It's probably because it's uh, very cold outside. Glue's not doing its job there. Try to get these smaller cameras and glue them to the screen rather than the big suction cups. Take up uh, too much room and impair your view a little bit. So, indicators on the left and also headlights, wipers on the right. Just here we've got cruise control. Yes, I think that is the switch and that's it on. So knock on with that one there and then we can increase the speed with that, decrease it like so. Your air con here, or climate control, fan on the left hand side there. It's a, it's a nice, it's a nice layout. Everything easy to hand. And as I say, the seats are very, very comfortable. Pheasant, yes, I knew it was going to, but it had the sense to take off. Not a particularly pleasant day today. Got a motorbike behind us, so he's. Uh, I think he's going a bit too fast, really, for this road because there's a lot of gravel, but on the bends, it's obviously worn off, and there's also lots of uh, standing water on the road. I'm going to let him go past when we can see where we're going. It looks like he knows what he's doing.
lots of bends. That's what you need in this car. Motorcyclist has disappeared from view. He's opened the taps and gone. Seats hold you really well in place. This, this kind of contoured fabric stops you from sliding around. It's, uh, it's like Velcro. What else is there on this car? CD player, uh, as I said, the auxiliary in, and the USB are just down here. Very nice condition. That's, that's a terrible place to have to reverse in. But doing an excellent job of it. This I refer to as certain death corner too. I've never seen one with a spare wheel mounted on the side before. I'm going to have to be careful up here with the GoPro on the side there. Quite firm suspension, probably a little bit more clearance than a normal Mini, with it being the old four. Nothing's coming around this corner, I can take a wide berth. Lovely to drive.
and, uh, and I've driven it too fast. Lovely car, drives great. Um, hopefully, whoever buys it won't be tempted to uh, <laughs> drive fast like me. But it, it, it is, it's like, it's, it's like a go-kart. It is like a go-kart. It, it just changes directions like, like I don't know what. Um, great car, thanks for watching. See you in the next video, bye-bye.